check me out. Hey y'all, I'm Renisha Harkness, and you're watching Realness TV, period. And today I am filming this video to let you guys know my experience as being an RA. Being an RA, y'all, it's not for the week. Let me just tell you that. It's definitely not for the week. And I don't even say that to scare y'all, but it's definitely a lot that goes into being an RA. And a lot of people just want to do it because... Oh, you get a free room. Oh, you get a check. Oh, you get this. Oh, you get that. Look, we had to work for that. We earned that. You don't under... You don't even understand everything that we went through to get that. I just want to bring this video to you guys just to let y'all know how the process is, what you learn from it, the things that you need to have to be an RA. I just want to help y'all out because a lot of people don't know they're lost and then when they become an RA, like myself, then they're like trying to figure everything out on their own and I just want to help y'all and let y'all know my experience. But if you would like to know what it's like being a, a residential assistant at any school, this doesn't have to be just at HBCU, but it could be at any university. Thank you for watching. All right, y'all, let me get my disclaimer out because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, nee, 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 nee. this is my experience. This is what I feel is necessary to be an RA. This is my opinion. It's my opinion! Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into this video. I have a list here of everything I feel is necessary to be an RA. So we're just gonna get right into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in, in, in steps because I feel like that's easier for me to do than just to jumble it all together. So, we're gonna have number one, our application interview training process. So that's step one. Tests as an RA, the things that you have to do as an RA. And the last thing, number three, what I've learned since becoming an RA. Alrighty, so we're starting with the application interview and training process. Okay, so to become an RA, you have to go through an application process, like any other job. The way my school does it, they have a little interest meeting and they tell y'all about the application and what you have to do to become an RA. So they'll tell you everything you need to know, how everything's gonna be. So you go to that and then from there you go through your process of filling out the application, getting every all the documents they want you to get and then you turn in your application and you wait until they pick your application. Do some research before your interview. Definitely don't come in there like, I don't know why I'm here, I'm just here. Because they're gonna look at you like you crazy. This is a job. Do your research about that job beforehand. Think of what would I do in this situation if this was to happen? What would I do if this was to happen? What would I do if this was to happen? You have to think on your toes and you have to know what you're talking about. Are they gonna be like, if you don't know what you would do in this situation, maybe we don't need you because you're not going to help. All I got to say is just do your research and come to the interview professional and knowing what you're talking about. After your interview, if they choose you after that, <laughs> it's still a process. You, you got to get chosen. So to become an RA, you have to go through training. Training could be anything from CPR to mental health, to fire drills, evacuations, all that stuff. Each school is different. Each university handles that training process differently. So I can't tell you exactly how that training process is gonna be, but just know you are definitely going to go through some type of training. Whether that's training throughout the year, whether that's training every month, you're gonna go through training. So just know that. All right, so we're moving to the next section, which is the tasks that you have to do as an RA. This is gonna seem like a lot, so don't let this scare y'all, but it's definitely, it's a job. Just know that, it's a job. 
Some of the things that I had to do as an RA on my campus was room checks, of course. Y'all see that in any in any of the college movies. You got an RA, she comes and checks your room to see if it's clean or not. So yeah, you gotta do room checks. Um, we have something called health and wellness checks. Um, maybe your university will do that, I don't know. But just know it's a checkup. You go check the rooms like you would do a room check. You have to do shifts. Um, every school is different, but I know at my school, well, I'm not even gonna say every school is different. Every building is different because the way desk shifts work is some people choose their schedule, some people have their schedule handed to them. So sometimes the schedule is already made and you're just gonna have to work with it. But you would definitely have to probably most likely work shifts. If not, then that's great. Kudos to you, but at most schools, I believe you have to work shifts at the desk in the front office where people come in and out in my building we had to decorate our board so we would have on each floor you would have a board and we have to decorate it each month to fit the whatever theme you were trying to go with and that's not even hard the only hard part about that was taking the time out to do it it's not a hard thing it's just finding time to do it so you really have to when you're becoming an RA or when you are an RA you have to schedule out your time. Time management, which is something I'm going to talk about in the third section, is going to be definitely necessary in being an RA. You have to hold events. So every month you should be holding at least a couple events. Um, if you're not hosting, you're hosting it with your other RAs or other people at the school, other organizations. You need to hold events. You need to be a mentor so part of your job is being a mentor to these students a lot of these students like in my building i was in this um, building with all freshmen so i was older than them i was a junior and they were a freshman so they're looking at me like can you help me can you help me with this can you help me with that can i talk to you about this can i talk to you about that and it's definitely a job where you have to be a mentor you have to be a listener you have to be a therapist you have to be there for them and it's not to say that like you have to but it's like it, they're looking at you as somebody older that they look up to so you have to be there for them meetings you'll definitely have a lot of meetings just know that <laughs> whether that's meetings with your RAs your hall director the people over at housing you'll have meetings in and check out you will definitely have to check in the students um, most of the time you have to be there before the students come um, to make sure all the rooms are together you'll have to check all the rooms you have to do all that um, you'll definitely have to be there for check-in and you have to be the last one to leave at checkout so if you don't if you don't feel like that's for you then don't do it but it, it's a job and it's your job so take it very seriously um, a lot of people complain about the things that they have to do as an RA. <coughs> but at the same time, it's all of this is a, it's necessary for the job. And if you don't do it the correct way, it can mess up a lot of things. So taking this job very seriously and not playing with it and not taking it as a just a way to get free things and this and that it will really help you because this job is a serious job. And I didn't realize that coming into it. I really didn't realize it. But now I see that it's actually very important. Like the job that RAs do is one of the most important jobs. Like we're really important on campus. Like people don't realize. So take this job if you really want it very seriously. That's pretty much the little tidbits of things that you have to do as an RA. Every school is different. I keep saying that because I know somebody's gonna be in the comments talking about stuff. The school doesn't do it like that and we don't do it like that and we don't do this and we don't do that. I'm talking about my school. I'm talking about my university, my HBCU. All right, so we're gonna go into my experience and what I learned as an RA. The number one, number one, number one, number one, number one thing that I learned as an RA is time management. 
this job requires you to do a lot. If you do not have good time management, you will get stressed out. And I'm just saying that not to scare you, not to make you not wanna be an RA, but you definitely have to learn how to manage your time. You need to schedule, get a calendar, get your alarms together, get your notes together, get your reminders together. You need to manage your time. And balancing being a student, balancing a social life, balancing any organizations that you're a part of, and balancing being an RA is a lot. And if you don't manage your time, you will get ate up. You will be one night crying in your room because you're so stressed out. It will happen. It will definitely happen. But if you can't do that, if you can't handle that, this job ain't for you, honey. You might want to sit this one out. I'm not even going to play. Like, time management. Um, you'll definitely have to learn how to work with other people. This is a job where you have to be respectful of others. You have to work with others. You have to work with adults. You have to talk to adults. You have to talk to parents. You have to talk to students. You have to talk to other people. So if you don't have the mindset and the attitude to talk to other human beings with respect, this job isn't for you. <laughs> you definitely have to come into this with a positive attitude. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to keep that positive attitude over the years because you're going to be... People will try you in this job. I've been tried in this job. I've been tested in this job. I've been... I've been a lot. That... <laughs> If y'all want to hear story times, let me know in the comment section because I have some stories, baby. But definitely, you have to you have to be positive and, and kind no matter what because even though people try you, it's still a job. And this job really prepares you for the real world because as much is I wanted to say what was on my mind and do what I wanted to do, I couldn't do that because number one, I had a job and I had to fulfill that job to the best of my ability. This job definitely increased my productivity. It increased my creativity. Yeah, I learned how to multitask like a pro. <laughs> Taking a test, cooking, helping a, um, a, a resident, all at once. <laughs> Honey, you can't tell me nothing. This job will definitely help you learn about people more. I've never learned so much about people until I had this job. And you'll have residents just come to you and tell you things. And it's crazy to me. Like, it really makes you, it really makes you appreciate life more. It really does. And not just saying that because everybody has a sob story, because that's not even true. Like. I'm saying it as like, it just enlightens you like, wow. Like pe hearing people's stories, their life stories is really just crazy to me. And I really appreciated the fact that I was somebody that these students could talk to and they felt comfortable enough to talk to about certain things in their life, or whatever they were going through. I really appreciated that. And it really helped me grow as a person and my mindset and how I look at life. You have to pay attention to detail to have this job. And um, <laughs> as my hall director would say, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Make sure that you're doing everything correctly. If you don't understand something, the time is now to start asking questions. Don't go doing things and you don't know what you're doing and then you expect somebody to be okay with the task that you didn't complete correctly. No, that's not how life works. So pay attention to detail, ask questions if you don't know, and make sure you're doing your tasks to the best of your ability. This concludes my what it's like being an RA video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, comment, like, subscribe. I thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Can